all the work is breaking down the fourth wall in different ways to say to create an active spectator so you're not just sitting there passively and saying what is it that the performer wants to tell me because there's not one right answer every person is coming with their own imagination and they see different things reflected inside the work and so for us we really want to help spark the imaginations of our young audiences and to make them feel empowered to actively create meaning inside the performance. There's something nice about a performance that's a path through a landscape instead of just taking place in one spot on a stage or just in one place in the world. So we were really interested in this idea of traveling and also again being between two disciplines, between dance and parkour, there's a lot of possibilities that don't really fit inside the bubble of either, but in their overlapping space there's new things to discover. And so that's been really interesting for us because of our body control and because it's not just about the stunting and the tricks, but it's about a longer line of how the performance changes and has a narrative through the landscape. The world isn't something we inhabit, the world is something we create. So don't sit there and say, oh, the world hasn't invited me in. Like, step into the world and start making the things that you want to see and feel and have in the world. That's what we do as performers. That's why we invite the public into the performance, whether it's an outdoor performance or Tetris on the stage. At the end of the work, the audience becomes part of the world and they are co-creating. And that is really important to me to hand that sacred fire of creation to the audience as well as to the